Hi, this is Troy Dreyer coming to you from Streaming Media West in sunny Huntington Beach, California. We're doing some red carpet interviews with some of the Lumieres that are gracing our panels today. I'm so happy to be joined by Sherry Brennan, Senior Vice President of Distribution at Fox Networks. Welcome to the red carpet. Thank you. Nice to be here. So you were on a panel today talking about uh, TV Everywhere. Yes. Uh, which is always kind of a challenging subject, I know. Um, it, it, it's important uh, to give people new options, new ways to connect to content. And yet I know there's been kind of a slow rollout of TV Everywhere. It's not where everybody would like it to be. Um, could you address some of the, uh, why maybe the rollout has been a little slower and a little more complicated than people might, might understand? Sure. I mean, one way I think about it sometimes is it's really sad nobody has a magic wand because we could just wave it and it would be there, it would be done, everyone would have access. Mm -hmm. The reality is that it's complicated. Mm -hmm. It's not technically that easy to pull off. Uh, the integrations are MVPD by MVPD, programmer by programmer, device by device. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot, sort of a three-dimensional matrix that you have to look at and prioritize you know, from an MVPD point of view, which programmers am I going to uh, have, you know, have content my customers really want to watch on these platforms? So which programmers, how do I want to do the programmers? What order do I want to do them? The programmers are saying, what MVPDs, you know, have I, have I licensed the rights to? So, you know, they have their own priority order. And then mm -hmm. when you dimension that out by device uh, category or platform, you can see that quickly the complexities um, just add up. So I think in fairness to all of us who've been working on this for a long time, um, yes, it's taking longer than any of us would like. Mm -hmm. um, however, I do think we've gotten to a pretty critical mass this year. And, um, you know, we're starting to see uh, a lot more awareness. So you're starting to see people, more than half of people are aware that they have access to TV Everywhere products, mm -hmm. which um, is great. And uh, you're seeing more adoption as well. So I think you'll just see it grow from here. And I think that's, uh, that's the good news. I know for my part, uh, you know, when I heard about my, my provider's TV Everywhere plan, I, I, know I logged on online expecting to see everything available to watch anytime I want, and I saw a couple shows. Right. So do the complications extend to what you're able to see? Yes, that is true. Um, you know, it's, it's called TV Everywhere, and I think eventually it will be exactly that. It will mm -hmm. be everything you have on TV, anywhere you want to be. Right now, it's some TV, some places. Mm -hmm. And that's just, again, it's, you know, there's crawl, walk, run, and we're sort of in between crawling and walking right now. Mm -hmm. um, so we're certainly not running. So, yes, you're absolutely right. The consumer offering is a little confusing. I think that's part of the reason you haven't seen any major national marketing campaigns around TV Everywhere just yet. They're just starting to kind of go out with those. Mm -hmm. The marketing campaigns we've seen to date have all been MVPD specific. So it's not really a cultural sort of norm yet uh, that people think that they should have access to this stuff on their tablet or their phone or their Apple TV or their game console or whatever device they might want to look at. Um, so I think that, will, again, will happen as we kind of go over the tipping point of critical mass in terms of the uh, amount of content available and uh, the number of providers who have licensed the rights for it. Now, authentication for TV Everywhere is not really that difficult, but it's kind of a mental roadblock for people, like a hurdle to get over. Are we getting anywhere and making it easier so people don't yeah. even have to worry about it? I think people are used to having to have a, a user ID and a password in many arenas of their life right now in the modern world. Mm -hmm. You have to have it to go onto your bank account or to uh, pay your gas bill to check your email. So I think just culturally, people are becoming more accustomed to having to have user IDs and passwords. Um, they haven't been accustomed to having to do it with TV, of course. You've just been able to sit down at your TV and, you know, flip on your remote control and away you go. So that is a new behavior. And um, in some cases, people, you know, have already got their pay TV bill on automatic payment with their bank. So they don't even get a bill every month. They don't know their account number. So there have been some, uh, some sort of friction created by that type of thing. Um, I do think it's becoming easier. And... Once you do it once and you're in and you're able to set up your user ID and password, you remember it, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, I don't think the, that it will ever be something people don't have to think about. I think just like when you log into your email or anything else, you're going to have to do that. But um, I think it will become less of an issue going mm -hmm. forward. We certainly saw that with the Olympics, I think, last time, that people yeah. were able to figure it out, and a lot of people did. 
Uh, so when there's great content there and people are motivated, I think uh, I think they'll figure it out. Right. The Olympics is a big motivator. It is. Yeah. So looking forward, I mean, uh, TV Everywhere is, is important for the, uh, the cable and satellite industries to prevent cord cutting, to make people want to, you know, to stop churn. What can we do to make TV Everywhere more appealing to people, uh, to make it a more appealing option to viewers? Look, I think it's just all about what I said a few minutes ago, which is it has to be all TV and it has to really be everywhere. 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 Yeah. So that's that's what we have to get to. That's Nirvana, and I think we're on our way. I think we'll get there. Give me a firm calendar date. When are we going to have <laughs> everything everywhere? You know, my crystal ball is yes. so murky. I don't even know how to tell you that date, but. I am sure that within a couple of years, uh -huh. uh, most content will be available most places. That would be excellent, excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Sherry. I appreciate it. Uh, this is Troy Dreyer coming to you from the red carpet at Streaming Media West.